with the stand on the sheet plan, only feet hands. It's only, only, it's only feet hands. another episode of only fans with me karen elizabeth fian and we got another three namer um, are you a three namer well i do it every time i intro this pod yeah okay but and that's why you're perfect um you may have seen her on uh comedy central she is a paid regular at the comedy store um she's fucking hilarious super excited to have her uh, nicole amy schreiber is here today i'm here i love <laughs> thank you for coming to my dirty it. hotel room oh my god thanks for i mean <laughs> we're at the roosevelt can i say that i guess well, I don't, we'll be gone by, by the time that right. it comes out. Um, she stayed at the Roosevelt Hotel, you guys. This is this is the stuff that dreams were made of. They were. Were made of in yeah. Old Hollywood. Old Hollywood, this is where you came to get raped. Yeah. I feel this is, that energy. This is, I feel that energy. But you know what? This is where this is this is where you got raped and then you made it. Yeah, you didn't you, just get raped. You didn't get just raped. It was a rape that went somewhere, you which got is raped important. And you got like a like a five or under. Like yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Got, you got a speaking role. These girls, these are the girls that you would have felt bad for if the Me Too movement. <laughs> Fuck. What just happened? I just dropped the thing. Go ahead. Okay. The Me Too movement. Go ahead. I'm like I, I was talking to somebody about this the other day. The Me Too movement. It's like, yeah, there were a lot of girls who were taken advantage of. But what about those girls who were really fucking because they were like, "This is what I'm going to do to make it." I feel bad for those girls. I do. I feel bad that like that was their game plan. Their game plan was like, "I'm going to fuck someone, right?" And I'm going to make it. Yeah. And that's now and that's taken off the off table. The table now. So now, now what? Now they develop talent. You they can't. Their can't. talent was fucking their way to the top. No, now they just start OnlyFans. Oh. You can do that. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's you hit a fucking gold mine, though. You um, really did. Yeah, I feel like it's on the way out. I mean, depending on it. We, I mean, I feel like we need another resurgence or something. But. We need another pandemic. Uh, that would be great. It's so funny. Every girl, every girl on OnlyFans <laughs> is just praying for another pandemic. Everybody start dying, um, or at least go inside. Yeah, everybody spend a little more time inside, yeah. patroning, patronizing, patronizing. Yeah, these ladies, for yeah. the love of God, please. Um. So you were just saying you don't you don't love LA? I'm just, I've just never fully. I've lived here for 20 years, and I've never fully felt like this is home. That's interesting. It's not, it's not a homey place. Yeah. I was just in San Francisco for a week. Uh, and have you ever been to San Francisco? No. It's amazing. It's a very like manageable New York. Okay. I feel like New York is a lot. New York like, is a lot. If Unless you are doing well in New York City, I feel like New York is just exhausting and a lot. Yeah. It's, but my thing is like there I have all my stuff. I have my routine. Yeah. My day is so like as my days are full in like the right way. I yeah. just I have such a home base. I just feel comfortable everywhere I go. By the way, I love routines so much so that much. my brain is like, wait, what is your routine? Like oh, give yeah. me give me a give me a week, a, a weekday, a typical weekday, yeah. and then a weekend day for I you. live for telling people. Oh this. my gosh, this is oh wait, hold on, <laughs> let me get my coat off for this. <laughs> This is fucking big. I need to know these things. I People really, I have such a hot nut for routine. I think love I'm it. crazy. Like I'm big on like circadian rhythm. That's the okay. other thing. My sleep has been out of whack since mm -hmm. I arrived here. Yeah. But because this is probably why my typical day, I'm awake between 5.30 and 6 a.m. Like really? I, I'm up. Now, is this your body waking up on its own mm -hmm. or so no alarm clock? No alarm. Your body is just like, let's fucking do it. The only time I use an alarm is if I have like a 5 a.m. flight and I have to wake up at like 3 a.m. or something. Okay. Um. So, yeah, I'm up and I'm trying to do this thing where you're like, like not drinking coffee like 90 minutes after you wake up. Okay. I'm struggling with it. My first cup is always decaf. Whatever. I have a problem with caffeine. So do I. Um, <laughs> By the way, before I got here, it is it is five o'clock, and she was like, "Do you want a cup of coffee?" There's a huge pot right there. I ordered I'm it saying, anyway. Is there food in there? There's a chocolate cake in there. You got? Do you want a some chocolate cake? Do you want to know why? Pat was like, um, he's like yelling, like his voice is so like muffled because it's like fat face, and he's like saying like, "Oh, I need a piece of tape," and I thought he said cake, and I was like, "I guess I needed some cake." <laughs> <laughs> So funny. <laughs> so there's uh, chocolate cake in there. All right. Well, okay. Back to we'll my look routine. At it later. Okay. Routine. So I'm up at like five or six or whatever, and then I'm having some type of hot, hot beverage and a bowel movement before I leave the home. UBM every morning. Absolutely. Sometimes two times before I'm out the door. Wow. Yeah. And wow. then, wow. Yeah. I, by the way, this uh, out of all of this, this is my biggest takeaway so far. The As someone who has IBS and it oh, oscillates sorry. between between 
the the Const- go 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 kind right. and the not go kind. Right. Um. That that look at me trying to be like feminine. <laughs> go 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 um, not go. The go 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 not go, <laughs> which is blow your asshole out or don't <laughs> blow it out at all. Um. So I, I I when I hear people go regularly, like gone are those days for me. Yeah. Like I'm it's, I'm so envious. Uh, so w- when it oscillates, can you put like can you pinpoint what makes it oscillate or it's just. A lot of the times it's, you know, it's, a, it's anxiety, stress related. Oh, it's also like, you know, like I don't have the best diet. Like I don't, I don't either. keep up on my diet as well as I should. Yeah. Um, it's always something I ate more or less. Sure. It's like my thing is, and I, my BMs aren't always perfect. I'll have like a muddy one, you know, and sometimes mm. it's, we, you know, the schedule, it's the late night sketch. You're home at like 12, one and my building has a vending machine and they sell oh. Snickers and oh, Twix and no. Oreos and Ferrero Rocher's. No, by the way, I'm a vending machine fat kid. Oh, like if I lived in a building with a vending machine, oh. I would look like that. There's like, people fully. have been behind me sometimes and been like, oh, and I'm like, what? I'm just getting six items. What? I'm buying <laughs> the vending machine. You're like, hi, can you just move the vending machine? You know what? That's the level of rich I want to be that I have a vending machine in my house yes. that I have restocked regularly. Yes. That's the dream. Yeah. Vending machine. Okay. But so it's the late night sugar that can lead to like a muddy BM the next day. But anyway, to usually like solid poops. Hopefully if I've, you know, adhered to some type of regimen the night before okay. and then I'm out the door with my dog for 90 minutes to two hours depending on weather depending on whether I have you know shit to do that morning Mm. we're either going to like an open run because she's a 65 pound black lab shepherd mix yeah. she needs to like really fucking exercise yeah, she needs she needs a life yeah she has to like work like she literally acts like she has to catch her ball 100 times or we mm-hmm. can't go anywhere yeah so that's the morning and then i work out okay and then it's like you know around what time is this 9 30 i like to do my workouts okay now you have your own workout routine you don't do classes i do classes you do classes too and i do my own thing okay I always find that when I travel, I try to lift like this time here, here at the Roosevelt, I lifted 55 pound dumbbells for like to like deadlift. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not that strong yet, but I'm getting stronger with like the Do you want to get more buff? Yeah. I love buff women. Yeah. I think buff women are the hottest thing. Yeah. Like Stacia Patwell. Right. Oh, fuck. She was supposed to do my podcast. She's too busy. She fell in love. Yeah. She's, I mean, she is a very busy woman, but yeah. her, her busy buff body got her a man. Yeah. In, in I know you guys Greece. both fell in love. I was like, did you guys do a spell By together? The, way, the second station and I separate from one another, yeah, we both, both fell in love. love. Mm-hmm. So what do you think it was? Did you guys like swallow a salamander or something? I <laughs> do not guys- know. But the best thing is, is that we are uh, both. I mean, she's in love. I wouldn't say I'm in love. I would say I'm in deep like. OK, OK. That's great, Saying though. I'm it's in love I, is like. I know you're she's so pragmatic. Also, she's also the girl who cried soulmate. Sure, like yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like she meets a guy and she's like, we're meant to be. <laughs> I'm, knowing him for 700 lifetimes will never be enough. Like that is her. Yes, I know. So, she, but she's really happy, and yeah. you know, I'm happy for her. But I met a guy. It's been a, it's been a little bit of an up and down, more up than down. And now, you know, but yeah, the second we separate. But anywho, back to buff bodies because we want to hear about yours. Yeah. Um, like my favorite class is this class called Stronger and it's like no cardio. It's just lifting weights. Yeah. My favorite teacher is this little Australian girl named Sarah Kokozala. Uh-huh. And she's like, let's get stronger together. I mean, I'll follow that woman into a fire <laughs> with that accent. Her. Are you kidding? Obsessed. Are you fucking kidding? That l- let's get ready to fucking. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's it's the secret, y'all. Uh, yeah. Y'all. They don't say y'all in Australia. <laughs> But she's, she's, she sounds delightful. She's I'll work great. out with her. Look at the results, Karen. Hey, you can do it. I oh, know you can do it. She's so just, you do that class. And then how long one. are you at the gym? What's your whole routine at the gym? After I leave, I'm like in the do steam room. Do you do a schwitz? Okay. I love a schwitz. I, I bring my gua sha in there. I break like gua sha in there. I love gua sha in there because uh-huh. it, it's like an oil. Uh-huh. So it's like, it's really like loose. Uh-huh. I, I do the whole body. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gua the bod. I'm lymph nodes, baby. Yeah. You gotta, I mean, it really is. I just started gua sha my body it's fun right and you yeah. your knee pits and your arm yeah. pits oh, all of you them. feel it all right them. i just like there's something about um like a giving yourself just like a little bit of a deep tissue massage yeah. every single day that in my mind i'm like oh this must be really good for a hundred for your percent i can even feel it when i'm like moving like the whatever it is that you're moving through your lymph nodes in yeah. your body like i feel it in that spot like yeah with like your the back of your throat yeah. even when i'm like, pushing on my shin yeah it's like so weird yeah. And I want to get that cool sculpting thing done. You ever gotten that done? The 
I want to get it done on the back of my legs, but I think washing the back of your legs. Like, like fat freezing? Kind of. Cool sculpting is cool. fat freezing. Is it? Yeah. But I think they can make your, your ass look like even better. Here's here's my thing about people who get stuff done to make their ass look even better. Yeah. To me, it's like cheating. I agree. If I didn't work my ass out like so much, I, I would feel one way. But I feel like it's just a little enhancing what I'm already doing. Yeah, it's a little enhancing. <laughs> It really, the whole fake it butt is thing is like, but the BBL really, thing is no. The fake butt thing, I'm just like, you didn't, you didn't even try. <laughs> you bitch, you barely went to the fucking gym. Now you just have a big fat dumper. No. Yeah. And you can tell, especially if their legs are skinny and they have yeah. like a big, like, like yeah. if they have no muscle mass anywhere and yeah. just a huge ass. Yeah, huge. Like no one's buying and that. And guys don't like that. Guys like legs. Guys like legs. Guys like sturdy ladies. Yeah. Real guys like sturdy ladies. True. Little this isn't, this isn't. The super, the super, super, if a guy likes a super, super thin girl, God bless a super, super thin girl. Sure. Okay? Listen, anemia is real. Yeah. But there is something to be said about a guy who likes a girl who's emaciated. Yeah. That's, that's fucking gross. They're like, easy to trap. They can't get away. Yeah, it's you can a, it's like lure them thing. places uh -huh. with peanuts. And money. Lure them with, yeah. your, with peanuts and money. <laughs> they're not going to eat your peanuts. They're like almonds. I know. They're like, can I suck on this and spit it out? Mm -hmm. They're like, let me get the shell <laughs> off. And then I like have it in my mouth uh -huh. for a little bit and then I'll spit that out too. It really is the... The what real men like I'm convinced if I lived in like Colorado, I would be married with kids. Yeah. And like really. Well, well, of course, like a lot of us career driven women, you know, especially in this specific career. It's challenging. It's just hard. Are you dating now? <sighs> I'm like always like have like five crushes going at once. But OK, so a crush is one thing. Yeah. But, like an execution. We need to get back to your routine, too. Don't think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I had a romantic rendezvous like a couple nights ago. You know, like I have like little like starts of things. Mm -hmm. And then do you want those to go somewhere? I am like very happy alone right now. Yeah. I would want a boyfriend one night a week, like on a Tuesday evening to watch TV with and mm -hmm. have dinner with because it's like the only night I don't have shows. Mm -hmm. And that's really it. I love my routine way more. I, I've just been in so many long distance relationships where I cut corners of myself mm -hmm. to fit other people. I just have no desire. I have no desire. Like if you are, if you're coming like with the same money that I'm making and the same time and the same likes and you have a big dog and like yeah. a car that you want to throw me and my dog in the back of the car and drive up to the mountains for a weekend. Yeah. Like, yeah, that'll be cool. I can do that. So that is the only way you'll bend to having a relationship <laughs> yes. is if he can throw you in the trunk <laughs> and take you to the mountains. Yes. Won't that be fun? I think there's probably a lot of men who would love to throw you in their trunk. I know. I'm just like one of those people that it's like also if you like me, I don't know. I don't like if you don't know me and you've never met me and you're like asking me out. That's weird. I just like don't buy it. I also I'm one of those people where it's, if someone really likes me, I'm like, what's what's wrong, wrong with you? you? You fucking loser. Like what? I'm fine. <laughs> At best, on my best you, day, I'm fine. I'm fine. You like You're an me. idiot. Why would you like me? I need to work on that. I think we all need to work on that. It's so funny <laughs> that we have the confidence to like get on stage, but then there's moments where we're just like not sure of who we are as people. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like we get like we're just giving so much all the time mm -hmm. that when it comes to like the person that you're going to have that downtime, like mm -hmm. off time with, mm -hmm. it just they have to reciprocate. Like yeah. the energy, like you have to feel like full. Yeah. That's how I feel about the guy that I'm seeing. That's good. He's someone that I'm like, oh, I'll give of my time for you. Yeah. I feel, Cause I feel. Because you're getting nourished too. Yeah. I'm yeah. getting something like great out of it. Like we have an absolutely awesome time together. Yeah. And otherwise it's like, I've just been, I've been single for 10 years pretty much. Yeah. Like I've had things here and there in that time, but like not really. Yeah. I've had like live in boyfriend after live in boyfriend since I was 20. Really? Yeah. I my my whole twenties, I lived with a guy. <clears throat> then I broke up with him, and I started dating one of the Lucas brothers, and we were like pretty serious for a year and a half. I was serious with Lewis for a year and a half, and then I was serious with this kid Tom for a year and a half, almost two years. And it's I just remember like, Tom. Tom was how hot. hot Tom was. Oh fuck, Tom was so hot. <clears throat> Tom's such a pain in my ass too because he'll like hit me up to like sex still. Uh -huh. Hope his girlfriend's listening. And um. He's just such an emotional abuser. Yeah. Because he knows, like, I still have feelings for him somewhere. He's very aware. I'm not like. Uh, you still have feelings for him? Not like every day. It's like less and less. Yeah. And, like now it's like whatever. But um, 
Yeah, he would just like out of nowhere always hits me up. Yeah. And then when he like is done with like the sexting, mm-hmm. he just acts like a prick again. So you you reciprocate the sexting. Yeah, it's fun because he's so hot. But I don't What is a good sext for you? Um to receive and to send. Hmm. What like gets you jazzed? Just compliments. Yeah. Just like layer on the compliments. Yeah. Like what kind of compliments are we talking about here? Like, like oh you're Karen, you're so, so smart. Hot. Okay, okay. <laughs> Karen, are you a You're member of Mensa? So it's so clever. weird. Like, what, a, what a cunning, brilliant woman. Karen Wordplay oh, fan? Word, oh, my God. Wordplay. <laughs> oh. Who needs foreplay when we have wordplay, babe? Oh. Spit in my mouth. Oh, I love witty banter. Witty banter oh. on my face. Why? What do you like in a sext? Um, I do like compliments. Um, like, I'm great at it. Yeah. Like, we're storytellers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're writers. Yeah. Uh, but what do you like from them? From them, I think... You know, it's one of those things where it's like, at this point, like, don't send me a dick pic. Send me no. like, send me like a, send me a, like, you're just your hard dick in underwear. I like that. Just the peak? Just a peak, a peak of peen. A vein? Um, Let me see oh, a little top vein. A vein, a vein. Just, you know, <laughs> show me, let me guess a little. Like, I've seen it. Yeah. But just like a little bit of a reminder. I don't need the full package. No. Uh, Throw some essence on that pic. Yeah, oh, essence. <laughs> Give me some, what do you mean by it? What are some, you saying? Some je ne sais quoi, <laughs> you know? So that, and you know, I think it's just like, the things of it's like, oh, I just like, what they want to do to me. Right. Like Also, like, if a dude's like, I can't wait to wake up with you and do more i'm like did you say spend the night i like (laughs) romeo Romeo. i like a oh morning sex like that to me is like i love morning sex yeah it's my fave i do too i don't like uh, one of my more recent rendezvous he was just such an insomniac like an insomniac alcoholic and i was super attracted to him and like (laughs) Like, it just sucks. You're like, are you a broken man? Yeah. I love you. <laughs> he was so handsome, super charming, very funny, great chemistry. Yeah. The sex, he, like, um, was not, like, super in tune with me. Mm-hmm. Like, wasn't reading the signals. Yeah. Like, he had, like, a very girthy dick. And I was like, you got to give me a minute. Like, this is like. Yeah, yeah, you got to warm up to that. This is yeah. painful. And a, gr- just- a girthy dick is oh, special. <laughs> God, I love I love a thicky. He's just ignoring all the signs. And then it's like 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. And he's just like bebop. You know, but like keeps saying like, he's like, I gotta go to bed. Oh my God, I gotta go to bed. And I was like, we should have been asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you should be asleep right now, this bro. This is crazy. Night, night. Um, and then my whole next day, speaking oh, of routine. Yeah, that is one thing. Fucked. That is one thing. I am, I am at the <sighs> age where I'm you like, can't. I want to fuck you. Not all night long. No, don't One don't don't times. threaten me with a nightmare. No. Um, because I want you like let's bang it out real quick. Yeah. Go to sleep. Let's wake up in the morning for a round two. Absolutely, we can round two the next morning. I have no problem round twoing the next morning. Because what just a way to sleep. what a way to start your day. I think you know? it's way harder to find somebody that you can like fall asleep with. Yes, <gasps> then it's it's thousand rare. percent. Yeah, like finding a good sleeping partner. Yeah, I think that's what. That's how you know you found the one. Yeah. And it's, it's like, rare. I lived with and dated guys that were not good sleeping partners. And it was like, you know, one specifically, like we were doing fucking coke together. And then slowly I was like, I can't fucking do coke anymore. Are you sober now? I smoke pot. You smoke pot. Yeah. But you don't. I haven't no, had a drink in like no five yak. years and no blow. No, no, yeah. no. But this is when I did. And like, I just remember be feeling like mentally and physically ill yeah like day in and day out yeah it was just it's I was too much i was so trapped in that relationship like it was so hard to get well how long were you with him like a year and a half and it was like i and then i relapsed after because mm-hmm. i hadn't been drinking during that relationship mm-hmm. but i was like white knuckling it and like mm-hmm. fucking doing blow sometimes mm-hmm. and then the second we broke up i was like oh i'm fucking relapsing and i relapsed for like a year would you say alcohol is your worst vice yeah why alcohol? Why not? Why not the others? What is it that alcohol does for you? Oh my god, alcohol is like a fucking heated blanket. Yeah, <laughs> that makes you come. I don't. Oh my god, a heated blanket that makes you come. A weighted <laughs> heated <laughs> blanket <laughs> that's that what makes is. you come. That's what, what? It is to me. I don't. I don't have that. Like, I've alcohol's never been a thing for me. I've never like drank alcohol and been like, oh, I love this. Oh, that's crazy. 
I just like it's so it's for me. I'm constantly when I hear people are like, oh, yeah, I almost ruined my entire life. Yeah. For alcohol. I'm like, wow. Oh, like, so it's just it's such an enigma to me. Yeah. Any anywhere in your family history, did anyone ever had a problem with alcohol? Yeah. I mean, I come from oh, Russians, really? so I'm sure. I mean, Somewhere. my grandpa, my grandpa only drank alcohol for Russians beer. are like vodka. Like, yeah, it's almost like part of the vibe. Like, yeah, it's it's the whole thing. I mean, you have to. If you're a Russian, you drink vodka because you have to stay warm. It is right. cold there yeah. all the time, and alcohol definitely keeps you warm. Sure does. Um, okay, wait. I want to go back to your routine. I've okay. taken over the podcast. Um, That's good. I'm tired. Um, I do. I do <laughs> love a takeover. This is... Well, um, welcome to Only Shry Pans. Um, <laughs> Let's go. I have my own, own OnlyFans <laughs> now. I'm going to be showing you pictures of my lopsided pussy. <laughs> So that's very niche. Very niche. Make you a lot of money. Very niche. I've got huge feet, so <coughs> my foot fetish guys will follow me over there. Crushing. Um, my foot guy. There's. Do you want to show your feet? We have so many foot fetish guys. Oh uh, yeah. I don't, my. I don't have. I don't have my feet done right now. You don't have to. It's up to you. They're gonna follow you. By anyway. the way, my foot fetish guys will that will come here for you. Yeah, yeah. We have a great. Um. There you go. We have a great I, my, my toenails aren't done, so <laughs> you're welcome. We have a cesspool of foot fetish guys, just interpollinating. <laughs> I mean, you have very good feet. Those are really good. And your got, toenails are fabulous. I got them done. This one's kind of jacked up. These are, um, I've been wearing, I can't believe I'm here. Gonna, wait, put your foot on my lap. We're going to give them a little bit of, let me, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a descriptors of her feet. Okay. So she has very smooth heels. All right. She's got good foot pads. The pads underneath the toes are good. Um, her, They're so cold, right? her second toe is longer than her big toe. There's a, that's a fucking niche. <laughs> Um, her pinky toe folds in under the, the fourth toe. Is that so good? if you guys, that's, a, that's a niche too. Okay, that's a niche okay. too. Um, uh, can you separate your toes, separate your toes? She can't separate them that well. She can do a, uh, the hitchhiker thumb with her big toe. Um, does she have, to, does she have hair on the toe? She has a, a little, little a tiny, it's tiny, tiny, that tiny, she shaves it. It's tiny. It's there though. It's there though. Point your toe, point your toe. She's got a good point. She's got a good point. I was good not, not good enough for the Boston not, ballet. Not, I mean, she's a, a dancer's feet are abysmal, but, uh, but yeah, no guys, she has good feet. Uh, Thanks, come and get them. Come and get them. That is my, get that is my professional assessment. Small bit of callus oh, because she works out, but that's, uh, callus for some, for, sure. for some people that's great. On my hands, it's wild. Do you have callus on your hands? No, I don't. I don't lift weights though. Here, feel mine. It's gross. That's not that. Ooh, that one's a big one. <laughs> See, I like that. Oh, that must be nice for a hand job though. I don't know. I haven't given a hand job in a while. I don't think guys like it. I love showing them. When you when you suck dick, do you jerk it at the same time? Oh no, I like to. Oh, I guess yeah, I guess a little bit sometimes. But yeah. I like to. Just, I just like to let him just fuck my face. Oh, you like a face fuck? I come by letting a guy Stop fuck my it face right now. and rubbing my clit. Oh, that's hot. And I, the guy has to be telling me that I'm a good girl and I'm doing a good job. Okay, it's a huge component. And sometimes they fucking blow it. Even if I'm this specific. You're like, I don't know how. Do you want me to write the script for you? I'll write the script. He's going to be like, line. <laughs> some of them are good, right? Some of them just fucking get it. They're like, oh, yeah, good girl. Good girl, you're doing it. And then some guys are like, good girl. Good girl. And I'm like, no, that's not why, it. Why good girl? I don't know. I don't know. So you don't like it when they're like, you little fucking slut. Um, that's like, that's like, okay. That's like, so, that's like a little. But good girl. Good you want to be a good girl. Yeah. What's your relationship like with your dad? Really good. Maybe, maybe that's why too you good. like to be called a good girl. Too my good. my relationship with my dad was too. My dad was like the greatest dad ever in the history of dads. I think that's why I'm single. It's because like every man I meet, I'm like, you're fine. You're fine, but you're I can fine. live without. Like your best. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's super true. Yeah. My great relationship with my dad. Um, it's funny because I he alludes to knowing I think about my OnlyFans in his way. Mm -hmm. He bartends on a ferry that goes from Cape Cod to Nantucket, mm -hmm. and he'll brag about me all the time. He's like, "Oh, check her out!" So like, show people my Instagram. I'll just tell them my name, mm -hmm. and then any heterosexual male with half a brain is mm -hmm. gonna follow me on Instagram, look at my link tree, and see that I have fucking my OnlyFans is in my link tree. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they come back, and my dad tells me this. He's like, "Carol, tell them they'll come back, and they'll be like, oh, you yeah, saw your daughter. She's fucking awesome.'" So oh, it's that's like so funny. Your dad, your dad just thinks you're a national treasure. <laughs> people are like, "There's something magnetic about my daughter." I mean, I always thought she was special, but God, people love her. But he loves talking money with me. That's yeah. his favorite. Yeah. What? 
Okay, wait, finish the routine, and then okay. I want to go into the progression of things into OnlyFans. I'm sure you've covered this on the podcast, but I still have questions, and I want to know things, and I'm sure I want to know things that people don't know, so. Sure. Um. So, like, after the gym, sometimes I'll do, like, some self-care type thing. Could be mm -hmm. a drip, could be an infrared sauna, mm -hmm. could be a blowout. I love the infrared love sauna. The infrared. Hooked. Loved Hooked. pause. Thank you for sending me the, there. Oh, the I'm best. i go tomorrow. I had a yeah. great time. I might go, I might go tomorrow. What time are you going to go? I don't know. In the afternoon. All right, we'll figure it out. We'll coordinate because oh, I don't have shows tomorrow night, and nice. I want to like. Oh, I love a fucking steam. A little. Yeah. <coughs> I guess I have one spot at the improv, but it's not till nine forty-five, and I don't care what I look like for it. Yeah. Um. So that, and then home lunch mm -hmm. out again with the dog. Lunch. What do you eat usually? Um. Mm, it uh, varies. I like a salad. I like a chicken salad. Sometimes I like to make my own food. Mm -hmm. I like to roast vegetables. I like. I'll I make, remember you roasting vegetables. I, I like roasting vegetables, yeah. and I'll throw them in a pasta. Um, I'll do like a little hamburger. I do a little steak, a little chicken. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Protein. Always very protein forward. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I'm out again with the dog, mm -hmm. and then back, and then it's usually masturbate nap time. You masturbate once a day. Yeah. I, I have a masturbation problem. I, 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 it's a, it's a, that it's not a problem. It will derail my day. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it is. Mine won't derail my day, but it, it, I do have to do it pre like nap. I masturbate. Is that how you go night night? Yes. Yeah. Sends me right out to dreamland. Uh -huh. And then, and then I wake up like this. Do you, with my do laptop you, on my chest. Just, you're just holding onto your <laughs> pussy. Like it's a pack of beer. Um, what do you, do you masturbate freehand or do you yeah. have toys? I used to be toys only and now I'm freehand. Freehand fee hand. <laughs> Let's go. What That's about you? Merch. Why do you think you have a problem? Are you losing like hours? I mean, what's... no, I mean, it's just like one of those things where it's like, sometimes I'll like be working. If I work from home, it's a problem. Yeah. Cause you're so distracted and yeah, little yeah, things yeah. will turn and you then on. I'm like, right? as soon as I start procrastinating, I'm like, I oh, just, masturbate. just, masturbate. just like, fucking get that out of the way. <laughs> and then I'll like work some more and then I'll be like, oh, if, I, if I just come one more time. No, it'll be fine. It'll be enough. You're like, I let the tank fill back up. Yeah, it's yeah, been yeah. a couple hours. But then I also, I use toys. I use the womanizer and I, I think it's, I think it's killing my fucking clip. You can switch to a freehand from the womanizer. I I've did. never been able to get a free hand out of me. It's the, like the amount of spit that you need mm. and the motion is more this and more up. Okay. But it's the, and, it, and for me, it's like the porn too. What kind of porn do you watch? I like doctor exam porn. <laughs> Check it out. I'll send you Karen some links. Karen Feehan. <laughs> oh my God. I I've been love very open you. about this. I, I think it's weird. I, well, not that it's weird. I don't think it's, I don't know. I bet it's more common than not. It's not weird. It's great. What a, what a storyline. I mean, I love, I <laughs> love porn like? with a strong storyline and there's yeah. nothing stronger than a doctor patient relationship. Also a very universal relationship. <laughs> and as a woman, we have a far more vol. I mean, I can't say that because guys have to get a finger up their butt, but we have we have more of an intimate relationship with our doctors than men do. I think it's so funny. Like any girl I know, if I was like, what's the name of your gynecologist? Boom. Every woman knows the name of her gynecologist. Mm -hmm. If I ask a guy the name of his doctor, not a fucking chance are they going to remember off the top of their head. Well, and it's also like probably 90% of the time, the first time your vagina was examined, it was by a male yeah, doctor. By a it's male just gynecologist. Yeah. dynamics in general, yeah. you know? So it's like to watch that in porn and it's like... Oh, this is this is a scenario that has gone through my mind before. Yeah. And it's like I if the girl is even like slightly enjoying it and like eventually they do because it is like porn. But like that I don't like that. I yeah. like it when they're being taken advantage of. A yeah. Lot. The resistance of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's fantasy and that's fine. So I used to I used to have a porn podcast and it was sponsored by this porn website called loveherfeet.com. And I would go to set to watch. Some of the porn's being made. Watching porn being made ruined me. I bet. I it's it's all it's just so Cut, made up. Action. I can't. Yeah, yeah. It killed porn for me. Mm. It killed. I now any on on set chemistry that you witnessed, or it was all no manufactured? very very business, mm. very business. There were a couple uh, shoots that I went to where I would put my feet in the air because it was love her feet. So all of it was like foot porn that was like geared towards foot foot fantasy. Yeah. And I would just 
make it, my feet would make a cameo. I would just stick them up in the background <laughs> while they were fucking like a little Easter egg for those little porn junkies. That's um, awesome. I don't know. I don't know if it ever was like noticed, but yeah, there's a couple porns where you can be Clip like, it. did you somebody just see at, 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 at five minutes and 36 seconds? <laughs> did somebody see those big fucking hogs <laughs> just in the air? What were those big size tests? Literally, I would just go like this. I would bend and flex my feet and then pull them down. And that's that's it. exciting. Yeah. Um, so I've been in porn. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, masturbate, take a nap. Then what? Then, um, you know, like may probably record a podcast. How long do you nap? Like an hour. Okay. Um, then it's like afternoon. I feel like it's like podcast time. Okay. You podcast every day. It feels like it. Like yeah. I'm either a guest on one or doing mine or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then walk the dog again. Mm-hmm. Sometimes dinner. Sometimes I starve myself till I get to the comedy club. Nice. Um, and then, yeah, typically I'm at the stand. Do you elsewhere. love comedy? Like is comedy, is, does comedy fill your cup? I actually do. I yeah. like love stand up. Even if I'm like not in the mood to do it after I do it, I love it. Yeah. I feel the same way about it as I do like the gym. Yeah. So sometimes you're like, ah, I can't, I don't want to. And sure. then you go and you're like, that was the best thing I could have done for yeah. myself. Yeah. Like, especially like you walk in and maybe it's like a midnight show on a fucking uh-huh. Saturday and there's like yeah. 15 wasted people and you're like, oh, why do I do this to myself? And then it, you got like a great fucking crowd clip out of it and you're like, oh, I'm the greatest. What am I yeah. talking about? <laughs> God, the clips, the clips are clip literally City, changing clip junkies. everything. We're clip junkies, America. I'm trying to do it more. Um, it's, it's. The whole crowd work thing. I feel like the whole crowd work thing, I feel like is ruining comedy. It's like. Um, Because now people think when they go to shows that they should participate because that's what they see on the internet. I feel one of two ways. I think there's a lot of shitty crowd work clips out there. And like, I think that's certainly a problem. And like glorifying like intoxicated people that Mm -hmm. are just screaming out sucks. But then again, crowd work has always kind of existed in comedy. It's always been like. I mean, Big J is like an artist when it comes to crowd work. So I feel like if if you're good at it and you can like capture some of those moments, it's good. I always try to have at least a joke mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's it's tricky. Does it's the tricky. stand have a camera system? Yeah. See, I don't understand why all clubs aren't doing that. Yeah, that is really. so insane to me. The comedy store doesn't even have that. And I'm like, what are you – you're just leaving money on the table. 100%. Because all of the, the – do, do they have a YouTube channel? Yeah, they have a YouTube too. Yeah, all like the stand and I mean, it's mutually beneficial. So yeah. no, nobody really says anything, but a bunch of my clips have gone more viral on the stand th- YouTube than mine. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah, I'm like, what is this bullshit? And you don't see a penny from it? No. But it's like, you know, it's cross pollination. They'll yeah. elevate you. I mean, you're tagged in it. Yeah. But yeah, it's it, the comedy store should do it. Yeah, it's crazy to me. I bet that they have so many kind of like celeb types, though, like that they might not want their stuff recorded. Yeah, but it's like in that case, it's like you can say no. Yeah. You know, but if if it's like just like, you know, regular. But like even if it's just like brand awareness, like I think I think one of the things that I, I, I see with all the videos is like the comedy clubs have their logos in the background and all it is doing is increasing like the surface area for a comedy club's brand sure. ar- across the Internet. Totally. So it's like as long as you have more surface area for people to land on your brand's name in some capacity, your brand's logo or, or right. identity will become just so much more commonplace. For like, sure. And like, just like part of the landscape, yeah. part of people's, like what they think about when they yeah. think about comedy. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I just don't understand why every comedy club's not doing that. Like the fact that every comedy club doesn't have a camera system is wild to me. It's nuts. Well, they, they almost all do in New York. Um, it can just be a hassle getting your tape sometimes. Yeah. Depending on the club. Yeah. You just, they have to have like, you know, a staff or a yeah. team or whatever you want to call it. And sometimes the acoustics are like some clubs are better than the other. Like the downstairs yeah. room at the stand is great. Yeah. Stand up New York, for some reason, like every time I film there, I'm like, oh my God, that was great. And then you get it like they don't mic the crowd well enough. Yeah. So you like don't, it doesn't, it's not good. Yeah. There's all of it. The sound, the way it looks, everything. Like the the comedy cellar, it's like they have the watermark on it, which is like fine. Um, I don't love it. I wouldn't be like, wow, what a great quality video. But you know, it's like, you can always hear the sound perfectly. It's right. great sound, which that's... to me is like, that's more important than the way it looks. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay. So 
That's a day in the life. Now, what do you yeah. like on the weekends? What's a weekend like for you? I feel like it's the same. Yeah? You do yeah. the same thing? Yeah. If being a comic really is, like, there is no Monday or Tuesday. It's just every day is Wednesday. Yeah. I mean, every day. Like, the, the only once in a while, I'll, but it's still rare. I'll have, like, maybe, like, a Tuesday and Wednesday yeah. off, you know? Now that I'm dating someone who has a normal work week, mm-hmm. now I'm aware. You're seeing it, right? Now I'm aware of the work week. Yeah. It's, Before that, I was nights. just you like. work every night. Yeah, work every night. I work, I don't work. I try to take Sunday and Monday off. Yeah. And then otherwise I'll do I'll do shows. Yeah. I, I need to take two nights off. I'm gone are the days of me fucking grinding and hustling. No 100%. chance. Hundred percent over. I get so elated when I have a night off. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna watch TV. <laughs> uh that's what you want to do with your night off is TV? Yeah. TV and chill? Yeah. Do you I get like so excited about sitting on my couch? Do you like to go out to dinner? Sure. I'll fuck up a meal. Um Okay, so here's what I want to know because I've always been curious about it. What was the what was the progression of things into OnlyFans? Um, you know, I don't know. It was like I ran a burlesque show for years. Um, I was always kind of like posting like kind of sexy stuff. Mm-hmm. So people would be like, they would tweet at me, they would send me messages, and like, just start an OnlyFans. And I'm like, what is that? Like, what yeah. is that? And then yeah, the pandemic hit. And I didn't like know that I was going to get laid off. I was writing at Paramount Network and mm-hmm. I had started the OnlyFans like a month before, but it was mm-hmm. just like very tame. I was not promoting it. I think mm-hmm. I had like 300 subs or something. And then <clears throat> I got laid off and I was like, well, first I was like doing both for a few months mm-hmm. and that was fucking, it was like raining money. It was awesome. Yeah. Oh, um, and then, yeah, then I got laid off in Paramount and I was like, I'll just fucking keep doing this. Now, when you started, I don't know what kind of content you post on there. Mine's very, it's relatively tame. Yeah. That's like my biggest complaint that people say, like, yeah. I don't fuck on it. There's like no real yeah. penetration. It's just nudity. Nudity. Um, It's so funny to me. It's like you give people that and they're like, well, what? You, We want more. They like will comment. It's like, it's such an interesting person. Um, I really feel for them. But they will try to DM me on every platform everywhere and then they will comment like they have no shame you don't respond dms no you don't talk to people at all no that's interesting because like there are a lot of you know girls that i know who only fans where they're like oh yeah a portion of my day is spent responding to people oh my god can you imagine i could never (laughs) i could i just i don't have the band i have enough text messages yeah from people in my life who i want to talk to yeah my only fans is like a boutique retail store yeah it's Come like, in, these are the buy items. what you want. Goodbye. These are this is what's for sale. Oh, this is too expensive for you. Oh, you then don't buy it. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go to another store. It's like it's not too expensive for Charles. Yeah, he's gonna buy too. Some guy wrote to me once, and he was like, he was like, I want to buy pictures of your feet. I was like, five hundred dollars. And he was you. like, he was like, you think that's you think feet are five hundred dollars? I was like, mine. I was like, if you want someone else's feet for less, right. go ahead, go for it. But if you want my feet, right. my feet are five hundred dollars. Right. Yeah. I love it. Good for you. Yeah, absolutely. And I have a guy who pays for five hundred dollars for my feet. Guys will even like like write like comment like long comments on like my YouTube on like a joke like that yeah. has nothing to do with anything. And they'll be like, you know, like twenty five is like pretty steep. I've been kind of going through it right now. <laughs> you're like, I'm like you're Daryl, like, get go, it together. Yeah, Daryl, go <laughs> listen. I don't need your money. You apparently need it. So hold on to hold it, Daryl. And then you know, even you know, some comedians bless their hearts. They really, I think, think that they're like helping me out a little bit they're like yeah. yo no i like to support and i'm like i'm okay you're good i don't need your support thank you <laughs> child but you know yeah, what you I need? like a fucking gucci you purse. need me to help you come is what you, <laughs> need. What you so need so you are welcome yeah that's interesting do you do you was there a point ever where you were like what the fuck am i doing no or were you just like this is fucking it this is great i just like i feel like once you're like Making that much money a month, you're just like, you're like, I don't ever want to go back to the time before this. Yeah. I never want to go back to, I don't know, a writing job. (laughs) Not making that kind of money with that level of ease. Right. Yeah. It's just like, and it's like, I think of it as like always like trying to like reinvest into the product. That's why I have like no guilt or shame about the level of self-care I participate Mm -hmm. in every day. I'm like, this is all a tax write-off. So fuck it 
do you are you do you have like a business manager like yeah. do you have you have, so you're like i have an in. llc he's my employee i have like an ein number all mm -hmm. that jazz do you how what what sort of investments are you making let's talk money i am i just have a high yield savings account okay. and then i have my stocks yeah but my want to buy like a cottage on the cape in okay. massachusetts but to like kind of like use as a rental property. Yeah. Like flip like Airbnb it. Mm -hmm. We could have it when we want it. Yeah. Make my aging parents like work it, like clean, yeah. it, clean it. Yeah. Make your aging parents get a job. <laughs> that's where you. Thanks, Pat. That's. Do we just get a timestamp? Yeah. Pat, you're so great. <laughs> um, that's where you grew up in the Cape. I grew up in Massachusetts um, in a town called Marshfield, not the actual Cape. But okay. My parents have been there for a while. Where'd you grow up? Detroit. All right, yeah. Yeah. Um, you have such a like a good East Coast vibe. You've uh, always been one of those people where I'm like, I've always just really liked you. You too. Same. Like you just like you're just my kind of people. You're just like that this is who I fucking am. <laughs> If you like yeah. it, great. If you don't, great. Either yeah, fucking you, way. Have a good day. Bye bye. I mean, and it's like, uh, do people who know how to schmooze and network and people please like get far in this industry? Yeah. Yeah. I see it all the time. Yeah. I just like physically don't have that. But at the same time, who you are as a person makes me want to talk to you. Yeah. Like it makes me want to engage with you. It to me, it's more alluring and endearing than someone who's just schmoozy. Like I, but I feel like there are people who do, who, who gravitate towards people like you and who want to do business with people like you as opposed to schmoozy people. Are the schmoozy, faky, networky people doing, you know, top of the biz? I think some people are just like good at like whether it's genuine or not, like making connections. Yeah, you know, like sometimes it's like a superficial connection. Yeah. But I'm just, I've never been like a fast friend like that yeah. either. It's like, I'm like, I'm, I'll connect with you if I connect with you. But if I don't, yeah. I can't really fake it. Yeah. Blair, Blair Saki once said to me, I she's like, Blair. she's, she's like, Nicole, she's like, you like everyone. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, you like people that people don't even like. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I mean, there's liking people and then there's like really like appreciating people. Yeah. Like, like I wouldn't like I wouldn't say I'm friends with everyone. I would say no. I'm, I'm a friendly person. Yeah. But I like I don't I have a pretty like tight, small group of people in my life. Like I'm not like, you know, uh, I am a person who definitely walks into a comedy club and is like, hey, hi. Hey, hi. Sure. It's like I want know everybody who works yeah. there forever. Yeah, it's, it's a, you know, it's like it's like but when you like settle down and sit down, it's like with somebody that you probably yeah. like vibe with. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to or, or nobody or nobody. I that's one thing about me. I love being alone. So <laughs> fuck, I love being alone. I you know Irish what? exited on New Year's Eve at 1155. Oh. I was like, bye. Bye. The best way to do things. <laughs> bye. The absolute best way to do things. Like, to. There's absolutely no reason to be around that many people who talk to that many people just like get the fuck out of there. I get anxiety about that because my tendency is to want to say goodbye to everyone. Yeah. But then I'm like, Nicole, you will be here for seven Ooh, days. Right. You just need to walk out. And just whenever like, I walk out, I'm like, oh, that was such a good choice. Right? You feel good. I feel I feel great. Because you picked you. Yeah. It, you picked you. That's what an Irish goodbye is. You yeah. picked you. Yeah. You love yourself. You love yeah. being alone. You've done you put in the time. You were there. What's your favorite kind of self-care? Mm. <laughs> I would probably say exercise, as lame as it sounds. Yeah. It's just, I feel like it's that the notion of giving yourself work. Yeah. Is just, I think it's character building. I think it's strength building in a lot of different ways. Here's a high thought I had recently Let's about working out. Like if you think about, you know, someone once said uh, to me, the your, the brain is not there to keep you happy. It's there to keep you alive. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's like we as humans, especially as people who are, you know, intelligent, we're constantly like in our brain. We're overthinking. We're overanalyzing. It's what we do. And the most important thing they tell you is, you know, be in your body. Be where your feet are. Mm -hmm. And what better way to be where your feet are than to be athletic? Yeah. Like that is the ultimate being where your feet are. That's like there is nothing, <laughs> there's no way to be more present in your own body than being athletic and yeah. like really using and pushing your body as much as you can. Right. And I keep thinking athletes must be on some level, probably some of the happiest people on earth. Right. 
And they are. Yeah. And, and that's get- why Tom Brady is like, Giselle, sorry, <laughs> I have to go. Beat it. <laughs> Be in my body. You're horrible and annoying. And like, I love my kids, but you guys are not a football. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, that Jonah Hill's new movie, whatever, Stutz. Oh, someone told me I need to see that. I've only seen like the first, I would, let's say 30 minutes, but I loved mm-hmm. it. I got to get back into it. Sometimes I just can't find things. When I go back to Netflix, There's I'm 100 too years old. There's fucking much. Same here. <laughs> that is when I feel like an old person. <laughs> like, I'm I, constantly, just I constantly have to like search things where I me was too. watching it. I'm like, wait, I watch um, Yellowstone every fucking week. I used to and I'm constantly like used to what? I used to do like their promo, not the actual oh. script, but I would write the um uh, the art for the art. There is nothing better on you TV love Yellowstone. than Yellowstone. Yeah, nothing. Kelly. Kelly is the best. The best. Yeah. Oh, what, is that her character name? Um, no, but it, her character name is uh Beth. 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 Yeah, right. but the but the actress. But yeah. Beth and Rip. Beth That's who Rip. I remembered from season Stasia one. Station. I do not stop talking about Beth and Rip. That's <laughs> yeah, it. That's the only the thing we ever couple. want to talk about. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I need a man yes. who's like, babe, what's wrong, babe? Who do you want me to kill? Hurt. I'll fucking murder Ugh. for you. And now it's like set the bar unreasonably high. Like, how am I going to get someone to murder for me and <laughs> land? Like, I what? And of course, you have to pick the fight that with the person that you're going to get them yeah. to murder. Oh, and then oh, she is just Beth is such a bad bitch. That she's that actress bat. is just a smoke Kelly show of a something. human. Yeah, I forget her last name, but yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, um, Yellowstone. Yeah, it's so good, but. Why did I bring up? Oh, watching it. Every time I watch it, I'm like, what am I watching it on? I have to Google what Yellowstone is on. Right. Paramount Plus. I'm like, what am I fucking idiot? No, it's because it's kind of a weird network. Yeah. That's like that. That was good. The show Waco was good. They had. Mm -mm, I didn't watch it. Um, There's not a lot on there. Yeah. Oh, Stutz. That documentary. Yeah. The f- one of the first. It's like three rules. It's very yeah. basic. But the first rule about like being happy is just your relationship to your body. Yeah. And it just makes perfect sense. Yeah. If you wake up in a vessel that makes you feel less than. Less than, yeah. Slow or tired or weak or trapped. Yeah. I mean, I just, thank God. I just, I can't imagine it. I have, I try to really have as much empathy as I can for, you know, overweight people because food addiction is very much an addiction. Wow. I didn't realize what an addiction food is until someone I was dating put it in a perspective for me. And he's like, imagine, because we we can all agree. I don't think you need to have... Uh, a food addiction to know how how addicting food can be for sure you like you feel, don't like you feel it be, you're sweating yeah you're like you salivate sometimes yeah. like food like food like overeating we've all overeaten and like felt it, sick you get it like yeah. every person gets it you don't need to be morbidly obese right but he once said he's like when you have a heroin addiction when you stop doing heroin you never have to live your life with heroin Heroin can be completely removed from your life. He's like, but when you are addicted to food, you have to have a symbiotic relationship with your drug of choice. And when he said that to me, I was like, oh, food addiction is the hardest thing there is. It's the hardest. It's by far the hardest. Yeah. And I think it's the hardest for women because our value is wrapped up in our aesthetic. Yeah. And I think that, you know, the no body shame movement, as much as, of course, like, love yourself, don't get me wrong, but it can just have some pretty harmless effects because there's just a level of dishonesty yeah. to it yeah. um that it's just it's so fucking hard yeah i and and the truth is it is such an addiction that mm-hmm. you can offer your time money um anything to somebody that is overweight mm-hmm. but until they're ready to yep. stop it yep it doesn't matter you can try every method love bullying doesn't work I they got to want to do it themselves. I love a good bullying. Well, on that note, <laughs> someone on the internet recent called, called recently called me a bully because I have a clip about making fun of short guys. Um, And I'm just like, wait, is it your big spoon, little spoon? Yeah, my wait, big spoon. little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a little spoon. I'm a bat. I'm not a big spoon. Yeah. I'm a, you're a backpack. Yeah. And like people get so fucking pissed about it. They're like, you're can't... body shaming. I'm like, oh, oh I spent my whole life feeling <laughs> shame about my body. You can this this hypothetical situation. This guy who doesn't even exist. They're like, you, you shamed a guy who came up to you after a show. I'm like, he the guy came up to me after the show. I didn't make shit out of him. I was like, fine, but it's not funny. If I'm like, oh, I was really nice to the guy. 
That's not funny in a joke. It, it, they can't separate the joke no, from their no. their own personal yeah. feelings. Yeah, I have a. Th- th- I'm like talk about how if you're a straight guy and you're excited to get married, that's gay. Yeah, which is a joke. Which is a joke. The but comment also, section like, is a minefield. Minefield. <laughs> minefield. Like, but my whole thing is like keep commenting. Guys. Oh sure, keep, go, ahead, keep go for it. Come, come with the comments in. It's I love to respond to them too and get them all riled up get again. Mad, I'm like, oh yeah, let's get this algorithm vibing today. <laughs> Start tagging friends. Like, yeah, yeah. Into just, the fight. Ta- like, just tag people in. Like, busy? come on. It's like, come on. It's like, let's fuck with this guy. Yeah. Me and Micah used to do that. She oh would like God. tag me. God, I love her. She would, be, she, would, she would be in a totally separate fight on Facebook. This is when I used to go on Facebook. Next thing you know, like, oh, Micah Fox tag you. And I'm like, oh, I guess we're fighting this guy. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Fucking gloves off. Let's go. <laughs> I miss a good internet fight. Yeah. They don't get old. <laughs> when are you coming back to New York? I don't know. Sorry. Probably once it gets warm. I can't do cold right now. Yeah. I'm a pussy. Well, this has been cold all week. I know. It's been really bad. I think the it- ba- those has been really bad. I'm sorry. When do you leave? Friday morning. All right. I even got like, I switched my flight even earlier. I'm supposed to leave Friday night. I got to get out of here. You're like, goodbye. I miss my dog. That's like the biggest thing. How's your dog? God, I love my fucking dog so much. I know so you much. do. The gr- goddamn so greatest thing Jack ever. Russell. I brought him with me to San Francisco. Oh. Uh, he was just, he turned into a little rain dog. <laughs> he hated the rain before. Now he's like fine in the rain. Really? Yeah. That's cute. Wait, did him and Clifford get along? Stacia's dog? Yeah, totally fine. That's cute. Totally, they just peacefully coexist. Clifford is an, a fucking beast, that yeah. dog. Yeah. Um. What's important is that my dog gets along with the guy I'm seeing, his dog. How, By the way, oh. his dog reminds me of your dog. That Mabel. dog, his dog... <laughs> Could fucking play catch. Yeah. 500,000 throws would yes, never be enough. Yes. That's my never dog. enough. Nonstop. See, you morning, found the noon, right guy. night. You yeah. have a guy with a dog and you yeah, have a dog. Yeah, guy with a dog. Guy with a dog. You have to have a dog. <sighs> if a guy doesn't have a dog, I think he's a sociopath. I think he's a fucking weirdo. Yeah. Like, or you have a cat? Like, what the oh, fuck are you doing? That is, that is, ladies have a cat. Ladies can have a cat. Have a Guys cat, ladies. Guys don't have a cat. <laughs> guys you get a dog that's your choice it's just like because like what's your routine like before we'll talk about your routine and then we'll do plugs and okay then we'll wrap my up. routine <clears throat> so i try to really stick to waking up in the morning doing a little morning pages do a quick meditation read even if it's just a few pages just read a few pages just to kind of get my brain firing a little bit mm-hmm. um every day i try to do at least a little bit of reading or a little bit of art so painting i paint that's like nice. i'm not even good at it but i just like doing it I love that. but i feel like once i like get that part of my brain like going your neurons pop um in. And then, you know, it's like I still have some side hustles that I do. You know, I was just like helping out Tim Dillon a little bit. Mm-hmm. I do personal organizing stuff. Oh, cool. Um, I'll, you know, I've got a whole random array of shit. I just sent him to, um, like, I sent him, how would you describe that? It's like a marble chain link. It's like decor. Uh-huh. And then I feel like you could like put it on like a coffee table. Yeah. And then I sent him a candle holder that's like kind of similar. Uh-huh. Um, and he told me that you were in charge of his interior design. So yeah. that, those are for you, I guess. Well, thanks. Enjoy putting them where they um, <laughs> But yeah, I'll, I'll figure out where they go. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, so it's like I do like a bunch of random shit. And then I like, you know, I have my comedy and... It's just I, ever since the pandemic, comedy doesn't fully fill my cup. Yeah. Um, so I'm like trying to figure out like what I want to do next. Yeah. I like want to start a podcast, but I like also don't. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I mean, at some point I work out, um, I try to do that like three to four days a week. Yeah. Um, work out with Stacia. I'm not good at taking the recovery days sometimes. Yeah. Like when I'm sore and my body's like, take today off. Like it's 50, 50 chance whether I do it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I succumb to that. I'm like, I'm like, take my whole thing is I try to walk 10,000 steps every day. Fuck That's yeah. like period. And we have that our, dog. has to we have our yeah. dogs. Like, so it's like, I have to do that 10,000 steps yeah. every day. And that's why like you're out and you're getting like sunshine in your eyes. Cause you're yeah. taking your dog on a walk yeah. in the morning. So, um, yeah, I, my routine has really fallen off the cliff recently. I got to get back to it, really? but I really like just with the holidays and everything. Like, I feel like December is always just like a clusterfuck of it a is, month. And it's like, especially, I don't know about you, but like when I go home, it's just, uh, my whole routine's out the window. Yeah, I'm be- gone. I become one with my parents' couch. Yeah. Oh, like, I love it. And they have a 60 pound pit bull and he just lays on top of me for 72 yeah. hours. It's great. My dad waits on me. He brings me Perrier. Oh. <laughs> this is the fucking life. 
Um, anyway, yeah. Nicole Amy Schreiber, tell everybody where they can follow you, find you, check out your comedy, check out your feet. Find me on social media, you guys, at Nicole Amy, N I C O L E A I M E E. That's me on all the things. All of it. Yeah. Thank you so much for being a part of this episode of OnlyFans. Thanks for having me. You guys are fucking gross and you know it. Bye. It's only fans.